guys. We also have to set up this overlay because it's the Alima League. So I know there's no sound. Give me just one second as I am tabbed out of the game. There we go. All right. Now let's make that all big and nice and then hide that for now. But okay, so we'll get all that stuff sorted. I think we're good for now. Uh, this is the Alima League. Hello and welcome, everybody. Feels like forever since we've had one. Just kidding. We just got out of the monthly finals. But uh, we also just recently saw this guy yesterday place third place in the fight before Christmas, spawning the top left corner of the map. It's going to be Axiom's Green Zerg Impact. And uh, I don't know if he's done this on purpose or by accident. Picking green is quite cute, as we did have him play Christmas colors. And, uh, in fact, he's done it yet again. Uh, his opponent, though, at the bottom right, playing for Root Gaming, it's going to be Supernova. Now, being that this is the dream pool, some of you guys have definitely seen these matches uh, on the streams of players. Uh, Supernova kind of keeping tried, tested, and true. Looks to be opening here with the two racks. In a, I gotta, I'm just going to straight up say it. Like, in a really bold position, I mean... You expect the Overlord to go straight across the map so often, but uh, for whatever reason, Impact has deflected his off to the side to try and get down over here to hide it for scouting later, and that's going to hurt um, quite a bit, actually, as he's not going to see this T-Rex coming in a situation where if he'd just gone from base to base, this would have been quite obvious. Now, he is opening uh, pool first. It's not like he screwed out of the game. He didn't make the biggest mistake or fumble of a lifetime, but it is a situation where he doesn't have that advantage. Uh, he still may not see this coming until the racks is already complete. I think he should be able to scout them, though, on the way down. Uh, now, as far as like, the hatchery goes, I mean, this is kind of something you're going to want to do anyways, whether you scout the two racks or otherwise. You can't just sit there on one base. So, with uh, that being said, now confirming it is, in fact, a two racks. Uh, going back on the topic of the Dream Pool, you know, I was going to start talking a little bit about all the cool stuff we've seen out of Supernova in the past, but, I mean, when it comes down to a brass stack, this, this pool, this... This map pool has encouraged more cheesy play than anything else I've seen in my life, and that's both a good and a bad thing. Uh, we've actually had a couple of the Lima League final matches that ended up being, like, five-minute long games because it was, like, Reaper proxies and stuff. But, yeah, it was uh, gonna drive off two of the... Uh, is drones there. Actually, all three of them are going to be driven off. The SCV does live to see another day, but the Lings are out, and this Marine's not going to get this bunker anytime soon. Uh, for Supernova's sake, he may pull a couple more SCVs. If he does lose one, he'll probably lose the other. If they're trying to stem around uh, this... <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, this jungle rock. Uh, it'll clear up a good chunk of the Lings, but the problem is if that bunker doesn't complete, this is no good, and those SCVs are not coming. So for Supernova's sake, I, uh, he could have just given up on the idea entirely, and that's not the worst case scenario in the world, but I mean, you two racks, you've, de you've devoted quite a bit to this at this point, and uh, this is really just not paying out for him. And I like what Impact did for this too, by the way, like he puts a spine car back at home behind this, he really doesn't know just how heavy this is going to get. Uh, there are times where you'll have that big all-in follow this up where you actually do pull all the SCVs. We saw this actually just recently. Again, uh, Jokshi trying to pull off some weird shenanigans back on the uh, fight before Christmas. But yeah, Impact runs around this. We'll probably be able to pick up at least this SCV. Uh, the Marines are kind of aware that those Lings didn't all die. Starting to head back home, trying to hunt this down. But uh, Supernova might be best just pulling that back to the main for the time being. Uh, second SV actually just gonna be brought down, so he is gonna be stubborn about this. Stubborn is as stubborn does. Uh, if you guys haven't checked the brackets for today, by the way, so you just want to get this bit of a, <laughs> say, lackluster scenario going on. Uh, there's quite a few awesome signups. A lot of the Axiom guys have come out to play. Maybe we'll get to see some heart today, some Alicia in those brackets as well. We're watching Impact right now. Uh, then of course there's others like Supernova Center, a lot of the regulars here for the Alima League. Uh, the Olima regulars, I guess you could call them. <laughs> That's all sorts of awkward. But, uh, oh, I have forgot to put us on Team Liquid. I should probably go do that real quick. Uh, Lima League. And, of course, we're online, not offline. Nailed it! But, of course, I think we all know everybody's watching the Star League right now, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, at any rate... As far as this is going to go forward, I'm really, more than anything else, surprised he's left the Raxes in the middle of the map. 
The commands that are being delayed the way it was did kind of supply block Supernova, and every second counts, we try to just pump Marines. Uh, there is a bit of a clock that ticks. You're not really worried about your opponent droning up or getting quote unquote macro. Uh, you're more worried about whether you've got enough to actually push in and do damage a lot of the time, but uh, he should be able to get at least the Queen here. The Spying Crawler is not in position to save that ramp, so the Marines could just stim, uh, and there's some that stim, sorry, stutter right past it. Uh, only one of the Marines is gonna go down here, at least to that Spying Crawler, but as they walk right past these legs, Still getting some good shots off, but I don't know if he's got the mustard to kill more queens. He may just barely get one more. There's no transfuse available. Oh, impact with the speed of creep. Last shot from the marine. Headshot takes the queen down. But he's trading out cost effectively in a very technical manner. Uh, he did expand behind this. He decided not to pull the SVs and go for big all in. But Supertuff is not in a great spot by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm actually more surprised that Impact didn't, uh, I guess, go towards the big bailing bust, the counterattack, a big all-in ends the game like we so commonly see, but uh, with the two gases taken, the Roach Warren on the way, he's going to be able to at least do some damage. This third hatchery is really cool to have up and running. It's definitely advantageous. I don't know if it's the biggest deal in context to the way this is going to play out, but yeah, with the amount of Marines just at the top of the ramp, since there's no metabolic boost still, they can certainly deal with the slow amounts of Lings. But I think one of the bigger problems right now is for Jackie Sick, like he's going towards the third command center. He's trying to catch up in every regard. His SCP count is just, quite frankly, in the gutter. Uh, oh, is he going to help out to find this? Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. I was going to start talking about how a Banshee might be his uh, best friend because he does have the two gases. And, of course, if there's one thing that's going to stop Roaches quite nicely, it's a good chunk of Banshees. Uh, Hellbats are not a terrible alternative choice if you're expecting Banlings. But with three Rax is up, I feel like that shouldn't have been the choice in the first place. Uh, whatever the case may be, we do have the Medivac coming out, so there will be continued uh, movements here out of Supernova. Ooh, that's very weak. Very not-so-amazing wall. It's the fact, not even a full wall. Call it a roadblock. <laughs> Just funnels into one, uh, one location, but... No, exactly. Minerals, traded for minerals, the same manner. Back home for impact, he has saturated that third base. He's not quite on that sweet, sweet 70 drone count, but uh, he's looking to be okay. Uh, by the way, sorry, I didn't bring this up at the start of the game, but because we are a little bit behind and uh, I am missing my pot off for today, uh, I didn't do a lot of sound tests prior to going live, so if there's any issues with the cast, uh, please do let me know. I'll keep an eye on chat and try to make sure I know. Keep quality up for everybody watching and tuning in, but chasing this queen back, couple marines can get some shots off on that creep tumor. And uh, there are a hell of a lot of roaches here. If, if Supernova had stim, I would honestly say you could take this force on, but it's going to be a little bit rough. Chance where we come up with the Hellbats here? I mean, you he can always pick up the Medivac and get out of there, but it's going to be a situation where, yeah, he gets sniped off by the queens, and now the marines are going to have to back away. And this is quite unfortunate, as the roaches uh, can chase these down on creep. They do not have Galil Reconstitution yet, so giving full chase is not quite... Uh, not quite an option, but back at home for Supernova. Uh, you know, he opens with this. I really thought this was going to be a big mech build, too. Uh, in fact, it is with the weapon upgrade, so I take all that back. Didn't even notice this right away. Just saw the tank lab come in the barracks and was thinking, Stim? Question mark? But he'll probably swap that over and try and get some tanks out after the uh, Hellions pop. And, I mean, the tanks are going to be pretty critical to keep these roaches at bay. Uh, the downside is, while there is a bunker over here, the roaches are just going to chip away the rocks on the other side. It's going to take some time for them to go down and... Maybe with some cool micro can uh, drop and pick up for the roaches spit on the Hellbats. Yeah, that's the goal. Supernova's a pretty sick micro. I mean, he's known for his micro being fantastic. There's no question about that every time we see him in the Alima League. Uh, it's not quite Marine King mi Marine micro level as of Gosu, but it's always cool to watch. Uh, even if a tank does pop out, the really scary thing is, like, where do you put it? No matter where it goes down here, it's going to be exposed. There's no full wall off. You'd have to leave it at the top of the ramp if, if best, but that fort is the natural, which... He obviously doesn't want to do by pulling the SCVs, trying to buy a little bit more time. The bunker's not going to complete. Uh, and if it does, it's it's really just it's one bunker with very low amounts of Marines that are going to go inside of it. Tank does try to siege up. We'll see if the Hellbats can keep these legs off the tank. SCVs going to go for that repair, but the tank is going to fall. These roaches got nothing to stop them. Supernova is dying. Yeah, no stem on these Marines. Makes them really hard pressed to do any real damage against these roaches. The last Hellbat goes down and... But frankly, there might be another tank on the way, but Supernova knows uh, his game is up. It was a failed two racks. There's not a lot of amazing follow-ups to that, folks. <laughs> so, game...